the Yusuf Malik, and I'm just gonna be doing a review on the Crossman uh, 760 pump pumpster uh, air gun or BB gun. Sorry, uh, I got this gun for like eighty dollars from Bass Pro, and uh, clearly it was built in America. Uh, you can use this gun with uh, over here. You can use it with um, the BBs, like uh, Umer X or Copperhead BBs, and you can also use it with uh, pellets. I don't use pellets, I use the BBs. Uh, okay, so when I got this gun, it was, when I opened the box, it was, the gun was just like sitting there. There's like n no assembly required. There's nothing you have to do. You're just going to find the gun in here with like a little piece of plastic, uh, and that little piece of plastic is the uh, kind of the clip or the mag for the pellets. Uh, I I can't find mine right now, so I won't be able to show it. But yeah, that's how the that's how you're gonna find the gun in the box. Uh, here's the the gun itself. This is the gun. It's uh, very nicely designed. It's it's. It's really great. Um, let me just show you a little first-person view of when you're aiming, like that. Um, then over he here on the left side, you just have like the basic front of the gun, um, the barrel, and then you come move back. This is where you pump the gun. The gun from. Oh shit! Here you go, just like that. This is the safety and then the trigger. Then over here you have your little warning, not a toy. Um, on the other side you just have basically the same thing except like now the screws are on this side. And this side doesn't have the screws on it. It just has like these holes, just like one or two screws. Oh wait, no, these aren't even screws. They're just... Oh, I think this is the back of each screw on the other side. So, yeah. Okay, uh, over here you just have the barrel again, uh, moving up you got the two screws, going down even more it says 760 pump master, then over here you have your safety and fire again, and then you have the basic back of the gun. Alright, so, right now the gun is not on safety so I can just move the trigger. If I want to put it on safety, then from the left side I push down to this, so it's like that. Then over here, you can see that this is sticking out now, and now the trigger is locked. Now if I want to take it off safety, like I'm a righty, so I hold it with like this finger. So I, I, I always keep my finger off the trigger until I'm ready to shoot, unless it's on safety. Then sometimes I keep it here, but usually it's still here. Before taking my shot, first of all, I just put it off safety. I keep aiming. When I'm ready to shoot, I fire like that. Uh, this is how the gun works. So... Uh, you pull this down like this all the way until it stops going, and you pull it all the way back up. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's so hard to do this with one hand. Alright, yeah, that's how it works, and uh, that means that it's pumped, and now when I shoot, now when I cock it, like this is how you, like, you actually cock it, that's how you pump it, this is how you cock it, you just pull this little thingy back here. Oh, Jesus, this is so scary. Let me hold my camera with the left hand. Okay, so you pull that back, and you move it back forward. So you just pull it back, go forward, like that. And then, uh, now I can just take a shot. There's no bullets in it, so it's safe for me to shoot right now. Uh, like that. Um, this is my BB hole. I can, like, put all my BBs in through here. Then I close this up. I can put it upside down like this. Then, a few of the bullets should just come in place right over here. A second way I can do this is I could just pull this back. Then I could put a, a BB in that little... Hold on, let me just show you a little bit better. See this little silver thing? I can just put a BB in there. And then I push this forward, and now my BB is also there. Or I can do it the other way. You just put it through this little hole, then I can just turn it upside down. It should be there. And then basically, it's the same thing. Then when you like pull this thing out, you should see a BB right there. If you don't see a BB, that means you haven't done it correctly. Then you push it forward, and you can shoot. With the sight on this gun, 
Uh, sorry. All right. So, the site it technically it works like this. It it's adjusted perfectly so that you could shoot. But if you want to like make it, if you want to like adjust it in a different way, you just kind of pull this. Oh my God, I totally forgot how to do this. Okay, yeah. Uh, all right. Let me just figure this out. All right. Yeah. So you just pull this up, basically. It's so tricky to do this with one hand. Sorry about that. So you pull this up and you can push this back. Now the sight is a little bit higher. For me, this is like not good at all because I can't aim at all when it's this high. I like honestly, I like having it at the lowest I can possibly have it at, because then I can shoot very easily. I, it's that's the best way for me to aim. Uh, how else may be different for some others? So yeah, that was a basic review of this Pumpmaster 760. Uh, be sure to subscribe as I do make some review videos like this. I also make um gaming videos of black ops 3 and grand theft auto some other games the crew i never made one of the crew I might at one point so yeah i make some gaming videos on this channel too so be sure to subscribe for more content thanks for watching have a great day